So, so well, let's do that question then. So how do you think that the commuter train has impacted the city? Um, you know, it was a long time coming and how, yeah. how is it doing? Well, it was, I, I knew back when it happened, it was a, it was a controversial you know, decision. Do you, you know, put a train station, you know, in, in a community and what would be the impacts? And, and I would say it's been a mixed bag. Uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 it has been uh, wildly successful, uh, just given, uh, you know, the, given the fact that we have all these jobs that have been moving south right. you know, into Pierce County and Southern Pierce County, and then commuting, at least pre-COVID, commuting uh, to, you know, more jobs that were located north, you know, the transportation system was a mess. And so an alternative to getting back and forth from home to work has been Sounder. And so uh, the Sounder station in Sumner, I know in Puyallup has been, you know, beyond expectations in terms of the, the volume, the number of people using it. Uh, so you the, guys are the city or the uh, Sounder um, board. Um, there's an increase in parking. The facility is going to be built. How soon do you think that's going to happen? God, you know, it's, <laughs> As soon as you say a number, then we blow right past it. Um, you know, I would hope within two to three years that we would have the garage built. Okay. It's been a long time coming. We had to do a lot of negotiation with Sound Trans in terms of how it was constructed, where it was constructed, um, access requirements. Uh, you know, they threw a whole bunch of money. It was like $3 million towards the Traffic Avenue interchange, you know, mm -hmm. to make that work better, to provide better access to the Sumner Station. Uh, you know, because when I talk about impacts, uh, one of the downsides of the train station being in Sumner is that we can't begin to uh, accommodate the people that want to park there to use the facility. Even when the garage goes in and you have like 500 plus, you know, parking stalls, it still isn't going to be able to meet the demand and you're still going to have a demand coming from other places in, in the county. And that's an issue we're going to have to address in the future in, in the, in the future figure out some of their means for getting people to and from the station. But in the meantime, yeah, there has been impacts in Sumner in terms of local traffic, in terms of parking. You know, we put up the, you know, the residential parking zones and that type of thing to, you know, try to accommodate uh, the parking demand and provide some relief for residences. But it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been a problem. Um, and, and so that's, that's the downside. I think the upside is the fact is when we look at future growth that's needed in the region, and I'm talking about uh, which is recently adopted by the Puget Sound Regional Council Vision 2050, and uh, is that we're going to grow by 1.8 million jobs from present day uh, up to the year 2050, and we're going to have um, employment that is going to grow by 1.2 million. Uh, wow. by 2050. So if you start looking at those numbers, how in the heck do you accommodate that type of growth without sending it further out into the rural areas and, and creating more transportation problems? And so the plan calls for uh, growth, obviously in the urban areas, but also growth along transit lines and you know high capacity transit lines of which Sumner is one. Right. I mean, we have that Sumner station. And so to accommodate that growth, uh, which is going to happen, it allows us to do, you know, what we call the town center plan. Mm -hmm. And that's increased density of housing around uh, the Sumner Station, uh, transit oriented development, which you have left less reliance on vehicles and more on uh, Sounder Station and, and the uh, and connecting buses. And, you know, and so that's, that's a plus in that uh, it accommodates the demand, provides for a variety of, of housing, uh, having to do with millennials, empty nesters, seniors, you know, small families, you know, whole cross section of what that future demand is gonna be. And I think when that happens, when that growth occurs, that also helps to sustain us in terms of our downtown, mm -hmm. uh, which I call, you know, the heart and soul of mm -hmm. Sumner. Uh, in that you'll have more people that are condensed in that area, which will support the downtown businesses, support the retail establishments. And, 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 and I think that is, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I would agree with that.